Hi, I'm Jennifer McDonald, and I'm here to share some updates to our teacher portal and the student app. Today, I'm going to talk about some new student data features that you'll be able to see your students data, your student data on, and then also making sure everybody knows about our puzzle activities that the students can complete. So let's first talk about the teacher portal or where you're going to be able to find that updated student data. Just a reminder, you're going to want to go to https colon forward slash forward slash schools.grapeseed.com. And let's take a live look at what that's going to look like for you. So when you go in, you're going to see your classes listed. You will then click on the class that you want to see the data for. And then this is where you're going to see all of your students listed. If you click on one of your students' names, you will see some of our new features. Up at the top, you're going to see the average playlist per week. You will then see a calendar where you'll be able to see if the student has completed a daily playlist on that date. If they do one playlist, they're going to get a smiley face. You will also see in the bottom corner, the number of playlists. So if they've done more than one, you'll be able to see that there. You are also able to click on the calendar icon and choose the date that you would like that data to start from. If you scroll down a little farther, you're going to be able to see the playlist time and the library time that the students completed. You can either look at it by month for January, or you can look at it closer by day. If you hover over one of the data points, you'll be able to see how many minutes they completed on that day. So this is a great way to quickly glance and see how many playlists or how much time your students have completed on the student app. The next thing I want to talk about is the puzzles that are available for the students on the student app. Just a reminder that your students are going to want to go to https colon forward slash forward slash students.grapeseed.com forward slash code. And let's take a live look here and see what that looks like for the students. So here you'll see that I logged in as Jose. Um, you can see that he is on um, the very first playlist, but I can also see that he's already completed the playlist once and gone through a second time. So this is his third time through the playlists. After a student completes a playlist, they're able to click on the unit icon at the top. And once they do that, over in the right corner, you're going to see puzzles. Once the children complete 10 playlists, and those playlists can be completed throughout units. So if they do five playlists in unit one and do five playlists in unit two, they will then complete one puzzle. The first puzzles will show up in black and white. And the second ones will show up, once they've completed 20, will show up in color. So if they click on that puzzle, you will see a puzzle there that the students can complete. There are several different things that the children can do with those puzzles. If you click on the eyes, it'll make it a black and white puzzle where you'll just see the outline of the puzzle pieces. If you click on the star with the hammer, you can break that puzzle up into more pieces. So they could start with four or they could go into a lot of little pieces. If the children is stuck, they can click on Johnny Bear and they'll put a puzzle piece in for them. So the students will need to click on the puzzle piece and then click on the spot where it, they would like it to go. Click on the puzzle piece 
and click on the spot where they would like it to go. And then once they put all of those pieces together in the puzzle, the puzzle piece will all come together um, and they will get to see that completed puzzle. So this is a great reinforcement tool to get those children to complete those playlists, to earn those puzzle pieces, and be able to have some additional fun with the student app. So those are two great updates we have for you on the teacher portal and the student app. And if you have any more questions about those, please feel free to contact your professional learning specialist with any questions and they'll be able to get those all answered for you. So have fun with the new pieces. We look forward to you and your students being able to utilize them. Have a great day.